So you guys ready for the mailbag? One thou wow boom. Absolutely. All right, let's start off here. We got one um from Harry Ruiz. He's like very right. excited because his Dodgers beat my Braves. Hmm. What a great me, we just don't we 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 just, we just have too many young. Let me talent, just say this. You know? Let me just well, say this. That series was great, especially that one game where you guys were up like eight to one or whatever, and they, and they came, came back, back to eight yeah. to seven, right? But come up, I hate LA in every way, shape, and fashion, sports wise, because as you know, we have feuds with them in baseball and football. And even back in the day when I used to box, we would go up to Compton or they would come down here and it was always a f- war, sometimes better than the actual fights itself. But, anyways, um, what a huge base running error. Why would you run with no outs? That, that, that cost, to me, cost of a trip to the World Series. That cost the whole game first, and it was a and it, and it was a double egg-headed play because the guy was going home, and then the other guy was going to third. I was like, "What are you guys Bro, doing?" You're at second and third with nobody out. What and are the you next doing? Thing you know, you hit it, we are in second and third with nobody out. And you, right. How do you hit into a double play? Right, it's ridiculous. <laughs> right. I mean, come on! That, it's like, you know, right. it's like yeah. I mean, it's, oh that God, was heartbreaking because I know you yeah. love Atlanta, and then I, I know, and then and then and I you actually knew, and you knew it was going to come back to haunt them. Right, that's the and thing because you can't keep the Dodgers now. They got too many bats. They got too many home runs. Right. you know. And then the oh. Mookie stole a home run. Yep, you just everything added up. We weren't going to win. We, that Plus, that, that base on an error just that cost was a great. That, that was a great game. One run right. game, bro. I was well, nervous to the right, very we're end. We're putting over Harry Reese too much here. So okay, but wait a minute. So let me just say this. I hope the Tampa Bay just rocks L.A. because I hate L.A. <laughs> I do too, uh, but they're not. Or maybe they are. I don't know. But that's what Josh Towers is. He he had texted me his picks. We we, we had technical difference for everybody. Well, we'll talk about it in sports, but, but Josh had right. – Josh had picked Tampa to win it all before the World Series, but we never got to do his, really? his things on the Yeah, well they were the favorites, so mm-hmm. or they're them and the Dodgers. So uh, but he had he had the Dodgers going out. So that, that was interesting. Yeah. Uh okay, here's Terry Reese's um email. It says, uh did you pull this up on the email, Joe. Pull that chart up and see if you can dab, put it on the screen here. So what do you guys think of the AW ratings data that Cody posted on social media where they're doing way better than WWE in the UK? I attached the picture with the numbers. Plus the disco, go Dodgers. Harry's from Las Vegas. Harry's a jerk, right? Um, so Hang pull on, that up, I'm Joe. Sending it. <clears throat> okay, got it? Mm-hmm. Pull it up. All right. So AW is here, – here, here are the stats. It says AW Dynamite is beating the first-run broadcast of all its competitors in the U.K. for audience volume. Dynamite's audience is over five times that of NXT, double that of SmackDown, and almost double of Raw. It has almost double the audience of Impact Wrestling, which has been airing in the same slot as Dynamite and is also on a free-to-air channel. Dynamite benefits from reaching considerably more people than any of its competitors. Full episodes of Dynamite on ITY4 have reached 2.8 million people based on five consecutive minutes of viewing. In its first year, AEW program and ITV channels reached 6.7 million, million people based on them having at least five consecutive minutes of viewing. Um... That's all fine and dandy, but if, are they going to run in the UK? I mean, they're just bragging about their numbers. Numbers in wrestling are nothing to brag about right now. I mean, it's really embarrassing that, that people are bragging on the numbers in wrestling when we have like 80% of the audience has, 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 has disappeared. It's fascinating to watch. Well, that's so what some, do you think that's of that? Some, that's something nobody's going to bring up. And, um, and But at the end of the day, if you're beating – if you're in your first year and you're beating every single show – and WWE, and you're beating Impact. I would be fucking boasting too. Somebody, but, tweet, I'll, I'll tell you this. Somebody had a tweet talking about how they're live in a time slot, and the other show, like, I, I, something's fit. Like these numbers are are not completely tell the story. Fu- like you know, fudged. maybe I'll look it up here and try and f- go. Go ahead, Joe. No, no, I'm, you're saying that they're a little fudged. Not fudged, but it's like they say like some of the shows are taped that, that they're competing against, and they air later. They actually do more views when they air and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know. It's, I, don't I, don't, think, I, don't, no, I don't care who, about ratings in, in the UK. Who I mean, put I zero that, on interest on the scale. Of one of who 100. put that? Who put that out there? Um, yeah. Wrestling Inc. I think had something on it, maybe or but but he's just. I mean, I don't know who put that out. Well, there's a, there's a response here to to Cody that says this is great and all, but it needs context because AEW is free on terrestrial TV in the UK, and all the rest uh, of the wrestling shows are broadcast by BT Sport, which is only available in 14 percent of UK households. So there, uh, they can cover a lot more, obviously, with being on the free uh, channels. 
Oh yeah, well they get a better channel then, so that's good for them. Yeah, I mean, that's, well, that's, you know, that's a my, good my, thing. My point, my point was, I doubt AEW would be putting out false numbers because they right. get destroyed by WWE no. and their fan base. So if this is true, the, let me just say this: this is true. They have every reason to toot their horn because they're beating the monster, which is WWE, not NXT, but all three of their shows and Impact, which has had a you know a footprint in in England for a while. Um, so, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not a show that I'm very uh, interested in. It has some good stuff and a lot of corny sh**, but WWE is the same way. This guy's yeah. response uh, to Cody also, I thought you might want to hear it, is uh, for context. AEW is on free TV, WWE is not, so of course it does better. It was the same for TNA a decade plus ago when people crapped on TNA for being number one in the UK for the same reasons. So where are those critics now, or does it not apply again because it's AEW doing it? Is that a question? What do you, I don't understand. I guess. Well, I mean, well, he's, he's asking. Yeah. He's he's basically saying they're kind of the, the wrestling community. That basically what this guy's saying is all Harry the, red, or the, the guy red, on Twitter is the guy on the guy Twitter. on Twitter. Okay. Basically, I think what he's saying is, is that where is all the you know? It's like the, the the AEW basically has selective you know fans that that, that pick apart selective look, information. Look, here's, here's the problem, yeah. bro. This is just like anything else in life, whether you're Republican, a Democrat, AWWE, AAA, CMLL, you, whatever it is, when you're on opposite side of an argument, everybody's going to bring up whatever they can and ignore all the other the bullshit. It's the same bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So whether they're going, well, where's the WWE fans? And where's the, they, they do the same shit. They're all going to highlight whatever they do good. They're going to hide what they do bad. And, you know, all their and hardcores are always going to defend them no matter what. They can never do anything wrong, but the other place can never do anything right and vice versa. It's the same fucking bullshit, bro, you know? Yep. Next one's from Jackie Jones. Is there, any, is, is there any validity to that, D.I.? Of course. We talk about it all the time. You're just repeating right. everything we say. The, the wrestling fans are just very polarized now, competing with each other, which right. is weird. You know, it's like right. some, bro, the wrestling fans, like the the WWE fans and the WCW fans, were never like competing with each other. Like everybody was a wrestling what? fan back then. That's what he said. I watch wrestling. It's like, oh, what show do you watch? You know, WWE or WCW? It's like, oh, I watch both. Was there a what, no. now? Was there a divide back then, Joe? Because you were a fan back then. Was there WCW, WWE doing what we were, we were seeing now with AEW and W and? Uh, WWE or no? No, I mean, just from my experience, everyone in Philly went everywhere. You'd see the same faces at WWE, WCW, ECW, Indies. It was nothing you know like I, the late you 80s. Know I, you know what I think happened, bro? And, 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 and this is something that's kind of funny. I think that, tell me what you, I'd like to hear your opinion on this. I think that WWE inadvertently made their own competition. They ran off so many fans, okay, that those fans are so mad now. That all they do is throw shade at WWE and the fanboys from WWE that are watching them defend them at all costs. And that's what we're seeing. It's almost like that show that you're on where you make fun of other marks. Like you guys are, you know, smarter marks or cooler marks than them. The Mark Wars, I would call them. And it's almost the same shit that we're seeing in wrestling. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely smarter. Well, than this that. was very predictive. I predicted all I this was going to happen. I would not agree with that. Well, you know, uh, if the fan, the fans, the fans, <laughs> these type of fans, trolls, internet trolls, just, just that, that's the, that's the fan base. That's, mm. that's the fan base you see online, and the trolls arguing with each other. And then right. you have like, you know, and then you literally have like the dirt sheet guys that are, you know, that. And become, I just love that, how that, many experts come out of just watching a lot of wrestling. Now you're an expert. You know what I'm saying? I see that more. Than I've ever seen it before. People that really think they know about the business when they don't know shit. And yeah. when I read what they write, I'm like, bro, you have zero fucking clue. And bro, they, you and should they hear you should hear Alvarez wrestlers. and Meltzer talk about why the ratings they think go go up and down every week. It's like what they have they? zero zero clue of what they're talking about. You know, bro, talk about I, I've I'm asked like, you. I'm like, guys, send, on Monday night. But, uh, send I'll, me okay, some I'll, of I'll that. Try, yeah. We can put it on the show and we can yeah, discuss I'll, it. I'll you a lot of good shit. So does yeah. Joe, and you never f***ing bring well, anything I to, to the show. I listen to so much. That's the thing. Well, just like okay, constantly let's do, you know, that's so excuse. Just, so then send me. Oh, man, I'm so, discussing hey, it. I'm I just discussing, heard this. I, I just heard this. It was good. Let's discuss right. it on the show, and then I'll listen right, cool. to it, and we'll discuss it. Let me just right. let me just say before we wrap this up, real quick. I just I think it sucks that um you know if you look at TNA's roster through the years, they they always had a comparable roster to. AEW now, right? They had some big names. They had right. great high well, they're flyers. They're WWE back then. Right. With the right. top guys, they had Kurt, Sting, yeah. Nash. So, you, know, you had a lot of top guys. Now, you know? if yeah. they would have positioned themselves or tried to market it like 
we're we're the company for you guys over here, like AEW does. It, things could have been different, you know. Yeah, bro. But there was too many people doing vendettas and this. You know, Eric went in there, and I think did he kick Vince out or something like that uh, when Vince, he got there? No, not, no, not, not really. really. Vince, Vince so, left. Yeah. Yeah, Vince yeah. ended up leaving, but he didn't kick him out. Yeah, yeah. but business wasn't done, okay, right. and that killed it. You know, they didn't do the, they didn't take advantage of what they had, and that killed it. Right. 